this is one of the tracks that I learned when I was very young and it's very very beautiful and has very vivid memories in my mind. So let me first get on with the moves. White plays d4, d5, c4, e6. This is the queen's gambit and black has declined it with e6. Knight to c3, knight f6, you take the pawn, pawn takes, bishop g5, bishop e7, e3, castles, bishop d3, c6, queen c2, knight to d7, knight f3, and now rook e8, castles, h6, bishop f4, and knight h5. Believe me, this was the position that was given to me uh, by one of my first trainers who told me, Sagar, if you find the right move for white here, I will be super impressed with you. I was like, wow, here is my chance. So I started to think what's happening, what is going on and all of it. I thought very hard and maybe after an one hour of thought, I found the move. Knight takes d5. What a move this is. What a brilliant move. The point is, if you take my bishop, I will take back with a knight. I captured a free pawn here. Okay, not to worry. What happens if the knight is picked up? Well, if the knight is picked up, the bishop moves to c7. And wow, look at this queen. It is completely trapped. Now, I was so very excited after learning this trap that in every tournament that I went, I wanted to implement it. I was like, give me a chance. This is something I have learned. Just like all of you here watching this, I was also greedy for a free point. And so one fine day, I went to a tournament and I opened my game with one d4. My opponent played d5. I played c4, e6, knight c3, knight f6 and everything went as per plan bishop g5 bishop e7 e3 castles bishop d3 c6 queen c2 knight d7 knight f3 rook e8 and here instead of castles which i had actually uh, seen in that game i played this move h3 and you know h3 is a very nice move because it keeps the option open between going King side, uh, king side or queen side, either of the way. The king can remain right now in the center. So my opponent played h6 and I played bishop f4 and suddenly the memories of this trap that I had seen as a little kid started to run in my head. I was like, please opponent, please play your knight to h5 because then I know a beautiful trap. And my opponent did play his knight to h5. And my heart started to beat very fast. I was like, wow, I've caught my opponent here. I played knight takes d5 and I was hoping that he will take here and I will be a pawn up. And more than that, I was hoping that he would take the knight. And he actually did take it with a triumphant look on my face. I put my bishop on c7, trapping his queen. And I just was sitting in my chair, relaxing. I was like, yes, I won the queen. When my opponent all of a sudden gave a check on b4, I was like, what? Oh my God, the king was castled in that game. There was no bishop b4 check. Now there's a check. And if I move my king anywhere, let's say king f1, his queen just moved out and I was a piece down. Unbelievable. Guys, this is how trying to memorize some things when you are a young child and then reproducing it after many years can have its drawback. I lost the game and a full point, but learned a very big lesson. Do not try to memorize something, understand and learn it well. This is Sagasha signing off. Bye-bye.